The trip to the moon took four days. After achieving lunar orbit, Michael Collins would remain in the command module while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin climbed into the lunar module, undocked, and began their descent. But the landing took an unexpected turn. The onboard guidance system was sending Armstrong and Aldrin right towards disaster. Our autopilot was taking us into a very large crater about the size of a, a big football stadium with steep slopes on the crater covered with very large rocks about the size of automobiles. That was not the kind of place I wanted to try to make the first landing. Armstrong overrode the autopilot and looked for a safe place to land. But the detour cost them precious fuel and they were about to run out. A worldwide television audience of nearly a billion people was on the edge of their seats. And so was CBS's own Walter Cronkite. There are things they can laugh about now, but at the time, those final seconds were almost unbearable. Uh, we were following the flight plan, and uh, we suddenly realized that he'd made a, a detour, and uh, we didn't know how long that detour was going to be. Yes, I was very much concerned. I think all of us who were following the uh, flight that closely were scared to death. The Eagle closed in on the moon. Houston, uh, and then this. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Tranquility. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Oh, boy. boy. Walter was breathing again, too, but barely. You are a man who I've known for years never to be at a loss for words, but you were at a loss for words then. I think all you could come up with was, oh boy. Turned out I didn't have anything to say at all, <laughs> except, whoa, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Perfectly speechless.